My name is Michaela, and I live in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Michaela is 13. She's so funny and just kind and so smart and helpful. And she loves to dance. She absolutely dances all day long, every day. Michaela will be stopped anywhere in the store and record herself dancing. Uh, she loves music and she just loves to be around people. She takes everything with a stride and she's so resilient. So if I look at her, she's the strength of our whole family. Michaela's diagnosis with sickle cell disease was she was about two weeks old. I was like, what? What are you talking about? I don't understand. I honestly was very devastated because I wasn't expecting. I was very young. Uh, I was 20 years old and I was finishing college at Purdue University and I was just shocked. There's just no way that this is this happening. Michaela has been hospitalized over 100 times, maybe once a month. She would go to the hospital sometimes and get discharged and have to go back the very same night. That's the process. It's scary. It's traumatic for her. I'm Dr. Derek Gabot. I'm one of the pediatric hematologists and the medical director of the Sickle Cell Program at Children's Minnesota. What makes us unique at Children's Minnesota, um, A, is, is the, the number of patients that we serve. We are the largest sickle cell, pediatric sickle cell provider in the state of Minnesota. The patients that I get to care for are truly the strongest people I've ever met in my life from a mental, physical, emotional standpoint, and that's why we call them warriors. I, I couldn't live a day in their shoes. It, what they experience, what they go through, uh, the sickle cell population has long received uh, less than equal care, let alone equitable care. And I think Children's Minnesota, we need to be that change that we want to see in this country. When a child is diagnosed with cancer, when a child is diagnosed with sickle cell disease or any other sort of uh, blood disorder, it's not something they asked for, it's not something the families asked for, it became unexpected. So their life is going to be uh, really uprooted and, and, and turned upside down. We have resources to be able to help these families through that in those most difficult times. My experience with Children's Minnesota has been amazing, to say the least. Ever since we've been here, we've just, everyone's educated me and my family to a, another level. We need to continue to push ourselves and be the best that we possibly can be for these warriors, these patients, these families. Um, so allowing us and, and helping us be at the forefront of research opportunities, of drug development, and, and again, making sure that we're providing the most state-of-the-art care, monitoring, um, interventions, whatever, it need, whatever these patients and families need, we're able to provide that for them. When I get older, I want to go to college and I want to be a doctor or a nurse because I want to take care of people like how they take care of me. To other kids that are going through what I'm going through, I would tell them it's going to be hard and challenging, but at the same time, you have to, like, I guess, just go through it and don't let anybody tell you like you're different from other people because you're not. 